what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets now in this video we're going to talk about how to create a links that actually go to a specific part of the same page right so we have the page but let's say that we have a long page we have like a bunch of paragraphs but we don't want the user to actually scroll all the way down because it just we just want to create a link that would write directly would would lead it to the to this paragraph over here in the bottom and the way we do that is let's say that I'm going to create a three links over here and I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to name them. Uh, let's say I'm, first one is going to be monkey because technically these paragraphs are about monkeys. And then the second one, I would probably say a location over here. So location, that's going to be the, uh, the middle one. And the third one is going to be I'm just going to copy this one over here and the third one I'm going to name I don't know what what do I have over here legs and tail blah 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 Chinese zodiac so I'm going to write this zodiac zodiac okay so and again you can have named them whatever you want the, the point is you can see that I have three paragraphs technically I have this paragraph that that would end over here then I have this paragraph and then I have this small small one all the way in the bottom and I created a links that would go to those three paragraphs. Now, the same deal, I would have to write href over here and I would put something in between the double quotes, right? The thing is though, you need to somehow link it to these paragraphs, right? So if I want my first one to go, my first link to go to first paragraph, I would have to create something that my link would be linked to this paragraph. And the way you do that, you actually create an attribute ID. And again, you name it within the double quotes over here. Quotation marks, I'm sorry. And over here, I'm going to write, let's say again, any name that I would want, but I'm just going to write monkey here. Right. And over here, when I have href, which is the location where my link is going, I would have to push the hashtag and then the name of the link. I'm sorry, the name of ID. So what you're saying is, hey, link, go to this ID and this ID has a name monkey. So it says go to this ID that has a link monkey. OK, and we do the same thing to the rest of them. So over here, I'm just going to say location. So I'm going to create ID location. And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to create an href. And then I'm going to say that I want a hashtag location that's the id that i want to go so i have hashtag location and the third one i'm going to say that it's going to be zodiac right so i'm going to create id and i'm going to say that it's zodiac so i have three ids and i have three links so over here i go back href and i'm going to say hashtag zodiac now what we also can do is Let's say I'm going to create an H1 element all the way over here on top, but I'm just going to create a quick line break over here. So it's a little bit different. So let's say that I'm going to create a line break. Now I have a line break and let's create a, an H1 element, the first heading. And this is going to say this is the top, right? And we're going to give this heading also an ID and I'm going to say that this ID is top and I'm going to go all the way in the bottom of my file of my website over here and I'm going to create a h1 heading over here like this and I'm going to say that it's the bottom so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say end and I'm going to give an ID end Okay, and now what I also can do is I can actually create a link that would go to the top right now. So I would create a link and I would say that it needs to go to top. And obviously since the ID for the top is over here, then I would have to write over here in href. I would have to write um, the name. The name would have to be top but I would have to put a hashtag over here. And if I want over here to create another link that is going to the bottom, 
then I would have to create a link over here. So let's say I'm going to create a link uh, that goes to bottom. So I'm going to say href over here and attribute is going to be href and I'm going to say that it's the end, right? Because that was the name. That was the name of our ID over here. You see the ID end? That's, that's where I want to go with this link. Okay, and I'm going to say here, end. So after all this talking, now we have three links. Well, actually four, I think five links that are actually going around our web page, right? So let's test the first one. Let's click end. And you can see that I go all the way to the end. Now, for some reason, the top is not working. And let's check it out why. And you can see that I haven't added an href, right? It's href. So now that I fix this, I have actually href. And then when I click to the top, I go back to the top. So if I would want to, I can just jump back from top to bottom, right? And if I want to go more specifically, I go to the monkey paragraph. If I want the location, I go to the location paragraph. And I want the zodiac, I go over here to the zodiac paragraph. So this gives you an idea how you can actually create the links that actually serves the purpose of uh, your user who is ever coming to your website not to scrolling up and down and looking for something they right away quickly choose whatever paragraph or whatever part of your web page they would want to use or, or view and they just click on it and they go right away there this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next